Hey everyone, Dudley here, back for part 38 of our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. In the last part, we completed the Gauntlets of Shar and also found the devil that Raphael was talking about. Um, had to redo that fight because the first time I tried it, everyone died. <laughs> but the second time, uh, we were in a better position, so managed to clear out the devil. And I thought bringing Asterion along would do something, but apparently not. Maybe we'll see something happen when we leave the place. Um, yeah, other than that, not much else happened. Uh, we just need to finish heading down and see what is waiting for us at the end. I mean, the night song is waiting for us, but other than that, I don't think, yeah. The game bugged out a bit. Um, or maybe it was my audio software that bugged out. So I was a little annoying, but that's fine. But yeah, let's head out. Also, the first time I tried the fight, uh, Asterion was the one who was leading the conversation and he was ported up to the top, the top floor or the floor above us, which was bizarre. Cause the second time I tried the fight, um, everyone was down on the bottom. So not sure what was going on there. But yeah, made it through. Wrong. Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. Oh shoot. What's going on? Tell me. It's fine. Really. I just feel we're on the right track. I'm right where I need to be. Under Lady Shah's gaze. I don't know, Shadowheart. Seems like you're kind of a little, well, not scared, but maybe more like filled with trepidation, <laughs> a little unsure. So it seems like the headband of intellect was like for nothing. Might as well just have her wear the truck, the just to see her helm. Man, that thing looks goofy. That's <laughs> uh, alright. This is a uh, kind of an annoying UI thing. Also, wish you could just put all three in at once. Not sure why we have to do it one by one. Okay. This must be where initiates undertook their final preparations. The end is near. Deliver the Night Mother's mercy. Shroud yourself in blackest. Trust your secrets to the night. Okay. Make a sacrifice. Rise again. A dark justice. Must be the last step. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. Uh, Shadowheart? Nothing. Shadowheart continues her prayer in silence. All right. 
I guess we'll leave her to her prayers. All right. No need to dash in ahead of me. I'm ready. What's going on? Nothing. Just a show of respect. Trust me. You wouldn't want to displease her. Not here. Let's continue. <laughs> a bit of the shoulder from the armor was a, a bit a little Last unfortunate. Is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. Uh oh boy. Point of no return, huh? Pretty sure we did everything, so should be fine. I wonder if it's any different if you use Shadowheart to get down here. So this is the Shadowfell, huh? Heart, is your neck okay? <laughs> oh no! Uh, how did you get here? Simple. I followed you. It seems Shah still holds a grudge against General Thorn, and so sought to prevent me from entering in his name. Luckily, you were the perfect agent in helping me slip past her defenses. Now the night song is within reach. Um, let's not antagonize him for now. Uh, quite an elaborate setup. Is the night song truly worth it? There is not a shadow of a doubt. But don't take my word for it. Come, see for yourself. Okay. Night song's prison. We have brought Halson. Where is that? Hey. Yeah, girl, calm down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Hysterian. Come on. Come on, guys. We all have Featherfall, it seems. Kale, crying out loud, dude. Let's get going. Don't 
much. Man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, man. Shadow heart. There you go. I have emptied my heart I have vanquished your death. Okay. Guys, what the Lady Shaw's will shall be done as sure as night will fall. So that's Night Song. Guys. Oh, for crying out loud. You know what? <laughs> oh, this is. Oh my gosh. Come on, Asterion. Why didn't he jump down with us? And then Shadowheart initiated the cutscene without us. Oh my gosh. What an utter mess this has been. You know what? Still like this. Should have done it like this from the start. <laughs> All right. Come to add more bars to my cage, or perhaps to leave this would be Justicia's blade directly to my heart. On your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time, and you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Amy. So, to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But, General Thor, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thor. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. The Night Song is Shah's sacrifice. She's my destiny. He cannot have her. Okay, so she's the one who's supplying his invincibility. Wow, okay, that's Okay, wait, the night song is a person? Bound to a soul cage of my creation. 
and lending her immortal strength to General Fool. Her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar, for maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. And you, no more questions, no more interference. She's the reason Catherick Thorm is invulnerable. You're not taking her. Leave, or you're a dead man. Dead man? You haven't been paying attention, have you? Perhaps I'll revive your carcass and add you to my retinue. Then you'll have all the time in the world to think on your mistakes. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, shoot. How many spell slots does Gale have? He's got one level three and one level four left. Dang. Oh, we spent it all on that last fight, didn't we? Oh boy. Um, Ray of Sickness. Okay, that did quite a number of damage. Let's roll a shield. Holy cow. What is this thing? Apostate Destroyer? Defender? Okay, these guys don't seem too bad. It's just these guys and Balthazar himself. Oh, buddy. Oh, hi. I didn't even see this one. All right, then. Bludgeoning damage is up. Dang it. All right, go ahead and take a bite, I guess. Oh, can't target undead. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Guess we're doing that. Oh, for crying out loud, Shadowheart. There you go. I think they burn. What to do? What to do? Oh, gosh. Librarian. Right. I'm satisfied with that. Uh, let's see here. Okay. 
Oh, for crying out loud. Nice. What's going on? What's going on, man? This cloud kill. Oh gosh. Oh that oh shoot. Oh, this is not looking good. So hot there. That's not so hot either. <laughs> Dang, this is this is rough. She dead? Oh, for crying out loud, really? Okay. <laughs> Let's redo this. not expecting that to go so poorly. Didn't think he was going to target her and kill her either. All right.
Oops, that's not what I meant to do. It's all right. He's down. That's one thing we can be happy about. Which side's more dangerous? There's more people on this side, so... Let's do that. Well, shoot. Right, Gale. Oh, you tried. <laughs> Go. Right. Ah, uh, well. Oh. 
Nice. That's good, that's good. Oh, not so good. Did you stop that? Really appreciate it. Good, very good. These guys are annoying us. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Looks like all we have left is this old fool. And the skelly man over here. Oh, and it gives us time to, uh, loot. <laughs> Circle of Bones. Oh. Why do we have this lever handle? <laughs> you know what? I think because we're probably not going to fight anyone anymore. As well, stats stick it up. Hold on, night song. Get to you, I promise. Oh man, even with this. Hmm. 
just gonna have to remember to take those off of Asterion when we go back and grab Karlak. All right. Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> Pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal, let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may not be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys. Oh man, yeah, that texture is still messing up over there. Um. Dang. I trust Shadowheart. Let's trust Shadowheart. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart. Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god. Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? What? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know in me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Oh, man. She knows something about you. Spare her and see what she has to say. Yes, 
Shadow Heart did the good thing. Okay. Dang, she looks good. Whoa. I am you sure are. You have given me a great gift, Metal Warrior. Don't you find it also curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said. Thus will it be so. Are you ready? Ready for what? To kill Catherick Thorne. She's angry. She's remarkably quiet about it. That's what frightens me. She must be angry. Yet I don't feel it or hear it. There's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there. See what she's unleashed against Catherine. Okay. Oh, that was great. That was cool. Oh, what do we get? Oh boy. Get another cutscene is what we get. <laughs> Oh, well, would you look at that? Shadow cursed no more. Get out of that. Moonlight Glaive. 
Okay. Oh, it's a two-handed weapon. Never mind. <laughs> it's cool that she has the chef proficiency in this. She does. Oh, wow. Well, let's boogie on out of here. dream but it's real isn't it i stood before the night song i heard lady shah's words and i failed her worse than failed her i defied her just because of what that asimar said i tried to leave but shah blocked me punished me for failing her I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast that all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught, abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. You're not alone, you have me. I suppose I do. Don't I? You've done more to help me than my faith has in recent times, if I'm honest. Thank you. There's been something between us for some time. A connection. More than friends. I recognized it, but didn't act on it. I thought my faith was the most important thing in my life. I couldn't have been more wrong. I've squandered too much time already. I want to be with you. Now and always. Do you want the same? Yes! I do. I've wanted this for a long time. It wasn't too long ago that I could never imagine smiling again. Shows what I know. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethrick Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise. And hope that answers soon follow. How are you feeling? Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. That's fair. Huh. Night Song, she mentioned your fear of wolves just like you shared with me. That's no coincidence. That's not the first time you've made such a leap. I don't know. Maybe it's a Salunite trick. Or another way for Lady Shah to test my faith. Nah.
Night Song will be able to give you answers when the time comes. The sooner I speak to Night Song, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. I'm here for you, new. Uh, I'm here for you if you need me. I thought you might need, might have needed reminding after everything. Thank you. I think any attempts at comforting me might be in vain just now. But you're sweet to keep me in your thoughts. All right. Oh, Gail wants to talk too. No Raphael though. Your cheeks are flush. With a twinkle in your Oh my eyes. gosh. But I think I am no longer the cause. I um thought you would show me the respect of telling me first, but no matter. You can tell me now. Who is it to be? Me or her? Oh man. Sorry, bud. Gotta be with Shadowheart. If that is what will make you happy. Well, I am not the one who would stand in your way. I won't leave. Not unless you want me to. Or until fate forces my hand. If your friendship is all we have, then I will be happy to have it. Eventually. Oh, man. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Worry not. I carry my regrets wherever I go, and I'm used to their weight. One more will not break my back. Maybe in another playthrough, bud. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So we need to go assault Moonrise Towers, but we are also out of resources. <laughs> and no Raphael, so Asterion is gonna be booted from the party. I should speak. Sorry, bud. I suppose it was only a matter of time until Shah took vengeance. For the Lady of Loss, she does not like losing. Ha 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 ha. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I guess I'll spend my... E it sounds... Sorry, bud. Poor Shadowheart. The gods are nothing if not vindictive in their vengeance. Okay. We talk to Shadowheart about it. I hate seeing Shadowheart suffer like this. All for doing the right thing. It's up to us to look after her now. If she needs a rest, we carry her. If she needs a hand, she has ours. If she needs ears, we've got four between us. Whatever she needs. Come on, we're heading out. Yes. <laughs> What a rapid change of tone. In my years as the Blade, I've witnessed countless cruelties, faced unimaginable evil. But Thorn, he is made of pure hate. The Sword Coast will rejoice when the bastard's fallen. My father is somewhere in this tower. I won't leave him in Thorn's hands. And lest we forget, we've a devil to rescue. Two missions one destination okay wonder if raven guard actually is in the tower so i need to bring will suffers. you might be surprised but it pains me to see now what would you ask of me that kind of is a surprise lazel awfully sweet of you Shah's ire has shaken Shadowheart. And yet she goes on. There is untold strength there, I feel. Alright. Um. 
Let's see. That's everybody. So what we're going to do is... Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Soul cage. Hmm. What is weighing her down so much? Is it all this gear? <laughs> She's not going to wear that anymore, that's for sure. Uh, this can go back to camp as well. Oh god. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> is this still bound to us? It is. Not that it matters too much, I think. Uh, we can sell this scroll as well. Alright. Okay, let's hope that this doesn't advance anything. No talkies, no talkies. All right. The stomach churns around and around. The bile within is unsettled. Each moment brings a new surge. Your companions sleep like blissful lumps of meat. Whoa. The gods fight over her. But is she truly that special? You could do so much better, my lord. How oh, can it? Seize this insubordination, you serve me. I am but an eager messenger from the depths of your dirty thoughts. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. <laughs> what? Okay, let's try this. You misunderstand. I don't care about her at all. How hard is this? Oh, disadvantage. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. This is awful. Holy. Please, 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 please let the lows be a 10. Okay. So all those sweet words were said in the hope of lying with her. <laughs> a fine performance. Oh, my itching liege. Ah. She was starting to trust you, the only one she ever has. 
pity it's coming to an end. We're indomitable, Smigheather. You underestimate us. You are wrong to consider another your equal. It is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions, Master. There was much disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little moon maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. Uh, there's no chance in the hells I'm going to kill my companion. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. A good night, sweet lord. Did I just waste those inspiration points? Without a fear. Reach forward to shake her shoulder and wake her. As your hand approaches her body, it wavers. It longs to close around her throat. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Has the mood struck you, love? I suppose we could try, if you think the others won't stir. Hold on, you look like you've had a shock. Something the matter? Um. Uh, now isn't the time. <clears throat> now isn't the time. I need to protect you. Hmm. I'm awake. Tell me everything. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. I'm going to kill the person I care most about. You, unless you can stop me. I suppose I'm flattered and alarmed. I'd rather you'd trusted me sooner, given all we've been through already. Seems like some sort of curse. It's the last bloody thing we need. But we're going to help you through this, together. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile. And you faint in a dizzy blur. You are not yourself. All control is gone. You convinced me to spare Night Song. You and I are both capable of resisting the darkness that compels us. Holy cow. <clears throat> oh, man. Please, please, please. Resist and try to express understanding. Okay. Easy. You're in control. Bloodless won't win tonight. Try to express your gratitude. Oh man. Oh, that's not nearly enough, is it? Shoot. Ah. Twitches consume you. You cannot talk. Growl. Growling. Come on, at least use words. You're better than this. Fight it. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. I feel like I did use those inspiration points you once pointlessly. You inhabit your own mind. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I think some more explaining is in order. Exactly what just came over you.
Confess everything. You've been fiercely fighting against your dark urge. I'll help protect you. I promise. Seems I'll need to just to keep myself safe. Promise I'll be the person you see in me. We'll best this. Just think positively. Or at least don't think murderously. Besides, there's plenty of foes out there for you to vent your impulses on. That's true. She took this in stride. <laughs> Way better than I thought. Huh. Hey, Scratch. Dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his... He gives in and surrenders his fine teeth. Salami. Scratch's tongue lolls out. Hooray. <laughs> I suppose I should have used to speak with animals first. Okay. And my debuff is gone. That's nice. All right. Really? Don't mind me. <laughs> Ghouls don't have anything on them. I wonder if this wouldn't have happened if I just came straight over here. Guess we'll never know. Let's just send these back to camp. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone and sold some of this stuff beforehand. <laughs> Shackled from shadows. She will rise in moonlit glory and carve a path of brightness to the accursed one's second death. So saith the wise Alondo. That beacon of angelic wrath has taken the fight to Catherick on the rooftop. 
in the first line of defense are dead. But storming the tower won't be easy. And if we wait too long, Gatherick will gather his strength and retaliate. For now, though, he's on the back foot for the first time since he returned from the grave. This is it. The spearhead moment. You brought us this far. So how shall we proceed? Huh. Um, move in and secure the ground floor first. Cut off all exits. A sound strategy. Once it's done, me and my harpers will hold the ground floor while you hunt down the general himself. Floric left some of her flaming fist. They'll scout the prisons and the barracks below to ensure we're not taken by surprise. Say the word, and we're off. Oh. Our party's kind of full up, though. So. Well, let's see what she says. Rather you join my party, Jahira. I'm touched. But I'm already spoken for. Okay. Catherick is a formidable foe. I have a need f of a formidable ally. Very well. Side by side we'll stand as we'll rip true souls from a false god. As good a prophecy as any. At the ready, Harpers! In this alight, there will be victory. In this alight, we will avenge the fallen! Raw. The time has come. Gatherick will taste of death at last. Sick. Oh, nice. She is part of us now. Ooh. as well grab this last one. Oh my goodness. Okay. You dare show yourself here after all you've done. Hi. You have betrayed me. You have betrayed General Thorne. You have betrayed our God. And for what? These harpers. Moonrise will be their tomb, and in death, you will all serve the Absolute. Step aside, Zrel. Where's the fun in that, boys? Make this traitor bleed. Okay. <laughs> okay.
Whoa, what does she have? What is going on? Oh, she's got mirror image, I see, okay. Is she a warlock? Looks like it. Ah, uh, crud. Sorry, Mig. here some guys up here that we want to take care of Her stats. Huh. Okay, can't use your action because I'm slowed. That's fine. Oh, it's uh, getting pretty cluttered up here. <laughs> Wait, why do I have no actions? Well, she's gone. Okay. that we had to use freaking jump 
because otherwise she would have been able to rage. Let's see. Where are that guy? Very good. Really? What's this? Okay. May as well try this. Nice. I think we'll be fine here. Okay, it could have gone better. Oh man. <laughs> What's this camera? What are you doing? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Come on. Hey, she's still raging? She is, okay. Can't take an action though.
Holy cow. What is happening? Okay. Oh, hey, it's the quartermaster. <laughs> what are you doing all the way out there? Oh, my gosh. Not so good. Bye forever, pal. Holy heck, man. That's it. No, you don't. What's he gonna do? Shoot another ice arrow? Oh no. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, please. Please. Yo, this guy's untouchable. <laughs> oh god. Let's get out of this. Okay. Ready, man. 
Cry out loud. Oh my gosh, what are these attack rolls? This was way tougher than I wanted it to be. Super unfortunate that Karlak had to jump over and she didn't get to berserk at the start of the turn. Or rage, rather. Is this Absolute's Aegis? If the Weirder bears the Absolute's brand, all damage received from spells is reduced by one. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm not going to pick everything up here. I think <laughs> it's too much. Oh, oh, this was the uh, this was the bugbear, bugbear merchant. Interesting. from the dead well, the way I hear it the fighting's not done oh hey you need neat lady like
Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Just tell me what you need. selling the same stuff yeah Lady light. all right well I think that's gonna do it for this part uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it what you are you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you all in the next one bye